No, I'm a pair of thongs. In the bin, in the bin, in the bin. Right, this is Penrith Lakes. We're allowed here on a Tuesday, and we're in this we're in this parking lot here. We're allowed to fish from here all the way around to this point here. So I'm going to walk up here and work from here up. This is about as low as I've ever seen the lake. Start here with a TN60. What I'm going to do is, it's just a jackal. It's called a jackal TN60. Little rattling spot. Nice sharp hooks. A very light line. I got one of my brim rods from the fishing comp the other day. And I'm just going to do a big long cast out here. I'm going to speculate all the way up this bank with this. I'm going to sight fish for carp see if there's any along the edges and just speculate for bass. Kidding. Well, this one bought myself a new pair of thongs from Winter Bait and Tackle. Look. More size and everything. Havanas. Damn. Didn't take long. <laughs> Sitting there thinking those thongs, I was still getting over those thongs. So I have to have a cast out. And you know what got that one? I didn't have the camera on, but cast across, I wound it back towards me until I got about oh, sort of mid between these things. And then I changed direction and he just belted it. That didn't take long though. Nice little bass to start more. Uh, now I've got bring gear on, so I'm not going to just lift them up with these leaders. Anyway. All right, little TN60. I had that few casts there on that bank. And I thought I'll just walk up a bit and do these jetties. Yeah. That's our first fish. Now, prepared for every flies. What is it with this place? and 60 and there's our first little bass for the session I'm gonna let you go buddy and you still a lot of those coming up this is open Tuesdays and what a fun way to have an afternoon out with your kids hmm anyway it's one up now here's a tip see this got a thread across if I don't get that out of my line, I can out with a big bird's nest. So I'm just going to gentle cast out. Work back until I get to it. Okay. Basically all I did to get that fish. So bring it up. So I just sped it up a bit. And then I slowed it down coming in here. Like that. And I just come across. And he whacked it. It's 13.05 or 5 minutes past 1. So now I got here at 5 minutes to 1. And I could have saved a minute if I knew there was a pair of thongs down here. I'm going to let it float, make sure it swims. Start burning the back for a bit. And then slow it. Slow it down, slow it down. It's all about the hit with this style of fishing. Change that direction. Seeing if it's in, could be schooled up. I could get several in up here, or it could be the odd one. They showed they're active, so I won't hang around here too long. Okay, this side, where you come from? It's always good to get one straight up. Is that much 
structure in his pocket from I'm sure there'd be a few hiding in here. That I hate. Foul, foul cuts. Out, we're landing in about 15, 20 foot of water, I suppose. Make sure I'm swimming. Yep. Oh, two in a row, foul hell. See lines of movement there, so there's stuff. I could be stirring fish up anyway, so I'll get this back in and get it swimming. Now it swims. Oh, behave yourself, third time I've Sometimes you get a lot of that, I just hit the bail arm, pull them straight. That's when. Change direction on that corner of that one. Yes. Oh, get off that jetty, get up, get up, get up. See how I drew him out on that change of direction? Not a real big fish. There is some good fish in here though. That's number two pretty quick. It's a reaction bite and that's what I like about the the style of fishing. And I think this is a man-made structure, this is a man-made system, so it just shows what we can produce as a fishery. Places like this in the middle of Sydney where you can come down and have a flick. Here's the vibe again. Let this little guy go, he's only small. But you see how he hit that rod. And my GoPro. Okay, it's 13.09. So it took four minutes to get that second fish. Now, the rod I'm using, they don't actually make them anymore. But it's a short, it's called a Shore X. It's eight foot, eight foot two, medium light. It's just the most beautiful blade rod. And I've got a little Revo on it, 2000 Revo. A beautiful drag on it. And I've got uh, eight pound fire line and six pound leader. It's just a real fun way to fish. I'm gonna run across that corner again. Speed it up a bit, slow down, go across there. And that change of direction back here. It's just the mathematics of fishing. You can cast out, cast out, cast out, get nothing. You start putting those right changes of direction in, you'll continue to get fish like that all day, or while the bite's on. I'm gonna go across to that one, see if we can draw something out. Now they can hear this commotion, so bass over there will come over out of curiosity. And they'll stage on that little corner there. It didn't take me long to find them though. I imagine they spread right through the lake, so. Even though we could stay here all day and just fish like this, I think I'll just keep moving around. deep and go across this corner. I get near it I'm gonna sweep it that way. Let it drop, change direction and come back this way. I know there's another one here to be had. only got a couple of hours to fish so I might keep moving in a minute. Pretty sure we're going to get bite like this pretty regular. Got him. There's another one. This rod's very forgiving so see he's shaking his head he's trying to spit that hook but it's 
just going, the, the rod's just absorbing all of that. He hasn't done anything much yet. Could it be side hooked a bit or it could be good fish ready to go nuts. There he is. I still think I'll move on in a minute, but it's hard. That's number three. Get off there. Just let him work himself out. He's a nice little fish. Bigger than the other one. So I'm just swimming him out. I'm going to turn him. These fish burn energy on the turn. I'll turn him again. So he's got nothing left now. Two turns, and he's gone. Up you go. Yeah, number three, and it's 12 minutes past one. So. Anyway, and Jackal's doing some damage today. Pop this on. Oh, sorry, mate. No, 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 get off there. Oh, I'm on those hot rocks, so. Okay, yeah. 13 cast one, that's number three. See you buddy. Go on. There's my car there. Place be parked. Pretty well parked and then parked here. Walked across to that pontoon there. Caught those fish. And I'm on my way again. Thanks for watching guys.